Russian brigade manages to lose 200% of its personnel. Command is concealing the losses. The commander of one of the motorized rifle platoons of the Russian armed forces said that the losses in his brigade are twice as high as its total strength. Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butasov drew attention to this. On the video made public on social networks, the Russian lieutenant admits that the army of Ukraine killed or wounded about 12,000 of his fellow soldiers, but the command is concealing this. The staff strength of the Russian brigade is up to 6,000 people. That is, the losses amount to 200% of the personnel. Given that almost all losses are infantry units and the number of infantry in the brigade is up to 50% of the formation, it is obvious that the infantry has been renewed four times. The Russian army maintains its combat capability only by constantly replenishing its personnel. And judging by the video, the Russian officer had some bad premonitions, Butasov noted. Through open source research, Media Zona, a Russian independent media outlet together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 59,700 and 25 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Since Media Zona's last update in early July, the names of 1,518 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists note that the actual figures are likely significantly higher as their verified information comes from public sources such as obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media reports and statements from local authorities. On July the 5th, Russian media outlets Medusa and Mediazana published a report indicating that approximately 120,000 Russian troops have been killed since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russian army casualties have risen sharply in recent months amid a failed renewal Russian offensive. According to research by BBC Russia and Media Zona, Russia lost over 10,000 soldiers in Ukraine over the past six months. President Volodymyr Zelensky claimed in an interview with the BBC on July the 18th that around 20,000 Russian troops were killed during Russia's failed offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Since Russia began its all-out war against Ukraine, over 3,700 officers, with 437 holding the rank of lieutenant colonel or higher, have been killed in combat in Ukraine. The analysts note that at least 11,933 Russian inmates have been killed on Ukraine's eastern front. Putin is in a hurry and is trying to throw all his resources into the war. Former advisor to the US Secretary of State, former director for European and Eurasian Affairs at the US National Security Council, Matthew Breizer, said that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is trying to achieve as many results as possible on the battlefield before an important date for him, the US elections in November. I'm not sure that they represent a specific deadline for him. But Putin really hopes that if Donald Trump wins, Ukraine will be forced to sit down at the negotiating table with the Russian Federation and accept his conditions. From his point of view, after Donald Trump becomes US president, support for Ukraine will decrease significantly. Accordingly, this will give Russia a chance to avoid defeat. However, there are also specific internal deadlines because of which Putin is in a hurry and is trying to throw all his resources into the war. No one knows for sure what is really happening in Russia. He added on air at Espresso. According to the diplomat, Russia currently produces three to four times more ammunition and basic weapons than the Americans and Europeans combined. However, the situation is gradually changing. The US and EU have allowed their defense companies to reduce their capacity. However, the situation is actually starting to change. Now, for example, German defense companies are noting that they must produce more ammunition and weapons, whereas before this was a political taboo. Gradually, American and European factories are starting to produce more weapons, Breiser concluded. The Telegraph recently wrote that a vulnerable Putin is waiting for Trump to give him back the occupied territories. Politico reported that Trump and Putin are bargaining over how much Ukrainian land Russia can keep. Harold James, a professor of European studies at Princeton University, believes that Donald Trump's defeat in the presidential election could ruin Putin's plan for Ukraine. At the same time, military and political observer Alexander Kovalenko believes that Trump can provide more significant support to Ukraine than Biden. According to him, Donald Trump is a vain, narcissistic person, and if he wins the election, an unprecedented historical prospect will open up for him to become one of those presidents who would be involved in a victory on the level of World War II and even in the context of confrontation.